Hello, welcome back to BS Live, where we mix and blend things in and out of Blender. Um, today, I'm gonna talk something quite different. Uh, it's gonna be like some kind of breakdown. Um, basically, a couple of days ago, I saw this work by same Dave Pollard, and it's basically a 3D model that I think he sculpted probably using ZBrush, or I think he used a little bit of Blender as well. Um, I thought this creature is really, it's gonna be really cool if I if it, I can use it as like a, an AR or augmented reality. And so I asked Sam and Sam whether I can use the model and, and he said just use it and remix it as I, as, as I wish. And so that's what I did. He sent me the, the model and so I went through uh, in Blender and not that's, that's Blender. And I actually just add a, a quick rig, um, just a simple bone, and let me turn on in front so we can see the bones. So that's the bones inside of these creatures, um, and this is actually all uh, kind of took me only like under half an hour, and I didn't make animation control. I simply just add the bones and then use the just bind the armature uh, the skin bind the creature into the armature as you can see here with the armature modifier with automatic weight and it simply just work um, one thing really neat is that when drawing this uh, the bones for the tentacles it's actually really really easy to do in blender just simply by clicking if you turn on the snapping to the volume uh, but so yeah so this is the creature already animated and what I did was actually to export it into USDZ. We don't have USD, we don't have Pixar USD yet in Blender. So I've been using kind of using FBX and GLTF to get it to work. And so yeah, now this is inside an app called Reality Composer. And this is an iOS 13. Um, it's Mac OS and iOS only app that's kind of help you to make um, 3D AR and this creature once it is a USDZ I can um, simply drag and drop it and then we can start seeing it um, as an AR if I edit on iOS like on iPhone or iPad this will simply just work so maybe I, I should take you through the, the creation of this a little bit. This part is actually the most interesting because it's already an AR and we can place it on the floor, on the wall, or with an image. This is, I think the coolest one is if you can place your 3D, um, you have an image and then it's gonna detect the image and it's gonna place it on the image and you can move around the image and your 3d ar character will follow that's i think the coolest one um, you can also put it on your face as a 3d ar mask oh this <laughs> that's kind of cool yeah i should do it like that yeah uh, what i did before was kind of to make it so it looks like a mask uh, one limitation you cannot go through the head at the moment it's kind of sit on the face like that um, but yeah, I think it might change in the future. There's also this object detection. Object detection is also really, really cool. If you have like a, like some kind of toy or vase that you can scan in 360, um, you can create an AR object and then use it so that when your iPhone or iPad detect the object, it's gonna put the AR object on top. So that's also really cool. Okay, so I can give you a demo later at the end, but uh, I'll show you the process. Um, so let's show you the, the original creature deep. So this is what uh, the, uh, Sam gave me at the beginning. This is uh, this character. If I go to wireframe, it's quite heavy and detailed. So, uh, but it's got a good um, topology. It's pretty good, and then the eyeball is actually separate. If I read the eyeball, it's gonna be so much better. 
but what one thing I noticed is it's quite detailed at first and then this guy doesn't seem to have texture but this guy actually have it as a vertex color and vertex color will not translate to Apple USDZ yet so if we display it here using attribute node so the, the vertex color is called call so we just plug in there we should be able to see the texture now okay so texture is pretty good I'm pretty happy and I think I can turn it into something that will work as AR that, that that's what I thought uh, I thought last night and yeah so yeah but we need to kind of bake the texture first right so first of all I'll just gonna save this as demo I'm not gonna do the whole thing but it's gonna show you the whole steps add modifier decimate decimate will reduce the number of polygon so I'm gonna reduce it like all the way 0 0.1 so only using 10% of the original you can go higher and then bake the high on top of the so you get a like high texture on top of the lower mesh but I'm not gonna do that today so it's reduced uh, now it's only 10% of the original um, geometry save it again now if I want to bake it in blender 2.8 you can do that using cycles so you can use EV real-time EV render or cycle cycles is not real time but you can bake texture that way so this guy of course doesn't have UV yet so we need to go to image editor right I believe if uh, with this character being selected you go to F3 oops I don't have my F3 while recording <laughs> that's good my touch bar doesn't work so we just go to edit operator search smart UV project okay smart UV project that's really what we need and then just hit OK and Blender will calculate the UV and we're gonna if we hit tab now we should be able to see the UV uh, under UV editor okay that's not bad you can do better with the UV but uh, that's pretty good so we can hit new we can we can use the good old color grid to start with and then if you want to see the result here on the octopus on the on this creature save as just save it as uv and now if we use image texture instead of the vertex color we can use this image plug into the base color we should be able to see this creature of the deep with the texture so it's a it's not perfect but it's okay uh, it's good enough for our color diffuse so yeah this is our texture we better name it properly creature color or feature text diffuse and with this being selected and our creature being selected as well we should bake our our te um, texture color the vertex color okay so we need that still plug and we because we want to bake that texture into this image texture like so again this node need to be selected our image and our creatures being selected and we need to bake it there's a lot of option here we can just choose the emit I'm pretty sure we're gonna get black so normally if I just want to have the texture image texture I just use emission plug this color there and then do it that way and then bake it again with emit selected and we should get the just the creature color so we can save as creature I'll just save it as UV 
Okay. So now we can delete everything. Go back to our principal BSDF shader because here we can then simply use our UV color texture. So now we have the creature with the proper texture. Okay, and we can actually delete the vertex color for now, but we can leave it like this. So the principal BSDF will actually work with with Apple USDZ. It has metallic and roughness. It's not perfect. There's a way also you can hook normal and transparency, but this is okay for the basic. We just use the color, base color. So a quick quick way, this character doesn't have any animation yet, but you can file, export, GLDF, select GLDF bin and textures, and then I'll make a new one very quickly, USDZ creature did. So I create a folder and save this GLTF into that folder. I can I can try the FBX as well, but it might not work. I'll I'll sh I'll show it to you. File export FBX um, demo FBX. Save it into the desktop. Okay, all default option. Now let's get out of this. In order for this to work, you need to have Mac OS and then you download the USD Python bundle from Apple and then inside that folder you have USD command and it's gonna do everything for you and you have a new terminal oh alright and then you run USDC convert and this USDC convert is a common command line uh, conversion tool to help you convert Things like uh, you can use OBJ, I believe, but for this one we have GLTF and FBX. I think the FBX doesn't work. Let me try. So I just type in USDZ convert FBX. Now we have USDZ. Look, it doesn't quite work, unfortunately. I think it's something to do with the material, but the animation will work. Animations and simple material with color will work. So instead, I'll be using GLTF. Drag in the GLTF and wait a couple of seconds. Creature of the deep now have texture. And this will work if you just airdrop it into iPhone or iPad. Running iOS 12 or 13, this static 3D uh, model will work as AR. With, uh, and you just look at it using AR Quick Look. So if you want the animations, of course you need to have bones. So the bones, for the bones, I normally I just create an armature. This is like a quickie way to do things, right? Sometimes you, it takes time, of course, it's not like magic, but uh, this is because I, I like doing things like impromptu, just do it on the spot. This is why I, I like things fast and then just make it work. So just now I, I went to the property panel here and then with the bone selected I turn on in front used to be called x-ray mode now it's called in front it's okay now with the object selected with, with the blender bones right blender bones only has edit mode and post mode it doesn't have bind pose so edit mode and post mode for for animation so now we are we need to jump into edit mode from object mode into edit mode and inside edit mode you can start uh, kind of doing uh, the rigging quick rigging so just now I just select the end part of join and then hit E and then drag it so it's, it's extruding extruding the joints so if you try to match this into the the octopus it's not gonna work right you need to snap it properly um, the way to do that is to, I believe, activate this snapping and then use volume. This volume option is really, really cool. 
and I like it on the center I think it's gonna look at the wherever your cursor it uh, cursor is and then it's gonna snap it inside that volume so for this creature I actually make four bones for the tentacles so it's kind of feel right you can see it snaps properly so yeah I'm not gonna do everything it's gonna take a while but you get the idea select the joints and then start extruding it using E and then it's gonna snap right into the tentacle if you have <coughs> character with tails this is also gonna be useful so while you're dragging if you make mistake you can always go back okay I think that should be fine that's just the front part of the tentacle I didn't rig the back part uh, I don't have my mouse so I need to buy a new mouse so with this we have the armature ready it's supposed to name everything I used to be a character rigger you need, you need to name every bones probably yep it's better if you name it but uh select this character select the bones anyway Control p with automatic weight and once you do that the character is rigged and you are ready to animate select the bones like i said it's, it has edit mode and a post uh, edit bones and the post bones so if you go to the post mode you can start animating so the I don't like how it affects the, the eyeball but that's okay for now um, just select the bottom part it shouldn't affect that part okay cool what I did with uh, with the, this creature actually if you select everything and then if you hold alt or hold options and then kind of animate animate it um, rotate it certain way it's kind of like kind of like a breathing creature maybe not like that but if you kind of rig the bones properly if the character is doing that kind of motion um, let me switch to animation mode so it's clearer so what I did is simply rotating the bones in X um, rotation while holding options so it's gonna apply to everything every single bones this creature should be in theory kind of breathing so select all select all the bones once again and then option click here minus zero zero five Or let me do it like that for now. Ah, it's only applying it for one. It's very interesting. I select all and then hold option. So that's kind of motion that I'm trying to show you. Basically, it's supposed to put uh, this value to all of the bones. Now it's working. Uh, I'm still getting used to 2.8. So, hit I keyframe everything okay that's kind of motion that I want to kind of make because the rest of the tentacle motion so first of all I make it kind of like breathing so that's kind of okay good I just copy this again copy this 60 frame of animations quick and easy so the rest of the bones animations I actually just simply using uh, automatic keying and then randomly make the tentacle so it's it looks kind of nice at certain point yeah it's, they shouldn't overlap just randomly make some pose so it's gonna kind of animate 
even though you see you see this one this tentacle that's a lot better than just randomly rather than kind of like breathing all the time so a bit of randomness a bit of kind of it's not perfect it's all like kind of hand animations it's almost like stop-motion animations but it works it's gonna work you know it's even better than kind of making everything procedural and automatic um, yep okay we have animations all good so how do we go about exporting this to uh, reality reality composer so we're gonna look at it really quickly huh. it's not animating maybe it's a bug anyway we have animations we're gonna set this to 60 frame oh because I didn't set the timeline properly now it's animating not perfect it's just a quick demo so we have light everything we can delete the light leave it as it is I guess select the object and armature and then file export FBX demo feature deep X actually I'm gonna save it into the desktop export FBX why am I exporting as FBX because um, I need to get the animations this is normally my process export as FBX bring it back as FBX into blender and then check it out check everything look at the material is the mater material working or not maybe the material doesn't work so, so then it you might need to fix the material the material seems to work this time surprise yeah I'm surprised so if I save this as fake and then file export GLTF just in case this should hopefully work as well demo creature D X this is X the one with animations have X okay I think I forget something in this mic this might crash but uh let's try it anyway usdz convert go to our folder date modified so in 10 minutes i created these animations this one fbx so this one with x has animation let's look at the usdz result maybe it will work i don't know some, sometimes with FBS the material still doesn't quite work take a bit longer so with GLTF normally I am sure this is like 60 frame right I think the the amateur shouldn't have keyframe the the object amateur shouldn't have keyframe the the pose the pose uh, bone should have animations okay file export tlta so this is going to be xx go back look <laughs> that's the fbx look at that that's uh completely doesn't work but look at our GLDF it works so that's my 